Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to a discussion on how to play the blues on the saxophone. Today we're going to use a simple C minor blues, a 12 bar blues progression that only has three chords in it. C minor 7th, F minor 7th and G 7th. And today I'm using the E flat alto saxophone throughout, so I will be speaking in E flat instrument terms. The riff I'm using will only have four notes in it, B flat, C and E flat, and also the low E flat. So three actual notes, but four different pitches. On the alto sax, those notes will be these notes. But I want to do a three note call and response riff. As the chords change, we're going to keep our call and response riff the same. We're just going to repeat the same question answer style of riff three times throughout the 12 bar blues pattern. So the riff that I want to play is this. Ba, ba, da, ba. That's the call. So C, B flat and then E flat. And the response is da, 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 da. So it's the same melody but with the low E flat this time. And you simply repeat that another two times. There's your first lap through a 12 bar blues in a minor key, just using three simple notes on the saxophone. I'll play the call and response. So this is the first four bars of the blues. And then you do that another two times. Now on the repeat of the 12 bar blues, that's the second time through the blues, we'll play an alternate riff. Again using the same notes, but the melody this time will be da 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 So you can sort of see another question response type riff. But here we go. That'll sound like this. And we repeat that another two times. There's our minor blues in the key of C minor using three chords in the background. We haven't worried about music theory at all. We haven't talked about using a natural minor or a Dorian minor or substituting a diminished scale when it goes to G7th. We haven't used music theory at all to play the blues. We've picked a couple of notes and we've created melodies using our voice. We've sung the riffs before we've tried to play them. You'll find in music on any instrument, if you adopt that sort of simplistic approach, when people listen to you play, they will get your message instantly. They won't have to be a music degree student to appreciate that you've done some clever chord substitutions and arpeggios in the background, because you haven't. You've just sung a melody that you could hear in your head and your heart and played it on your instrument in that vocal style. Okay, let's put it together. I'll put the chord pattern up on the screen for you and play along with me.